Yes. Okay, so we kind of got through the scriptures that uh, you brought up, mm -hmm. and uh, we didn't even go in as deep as we could have went because yeah. there's so much in there, but we're running lower on time, and mm -hmm. we got to kind of wrap things down a little bit. So I want to preempt the, the scriptures I brought in mm -hmm. because we're talking about the letter of the law, and we're talking about the law in general, mm -hmm. and what I want to do is I want to define this a little bit more. Yes. So in Proverbs 6, 23, it says, For the commandment, as the whole divine Torah law, is a lamp, as a glistening candle, and the law, even the pre precept and the statute of it, is a light, is the illumination of happiness. Now, how can something that's happiness be a curse? Mm -hmm. But that's what we're told reproofs mm -hmm. for correction and refutation mm -hmm. of instruction as doctrine and a warning of, of restraint are the way of life. Mm -hmm. Restraint. Mm -hmm. But the restraint that we're seeing is, I'm not keeping no commandments, that's a curse. Mm -hmm. That's the restraint that we see out there. Mm -hmm. But know this, this kingdom is coming. Yes. And you're either going to be with it or you're not. But nobody that's a rebel or rebeller or anything like that is going to get into that kingdom. We're going to cover that mm -hmm. as well. So with that being said, we're shown that the commandment is a light. We're also told that we're like candles, not to be put under a basket. And we're going to kind of get into a little bit of that now. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is uh, the main gist of this particular section in Matthew 5 that I'm going to read is you're not getting in. If you violate this text, mm -hmm. you are not getting into the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is, because there's a fair amount of scripture here, I'm just going to read through this section, and then we'll stop and we'll elaborate a little, and I'm going to go through another section. We're reading through a little bit, and then we're going to kind of start to conclude at that point. Okay. So in Matthew 5, verse 14, it says, You are the light with luminescent rays of the world. A city with walls that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket used for measuring, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to radiate brilliantly to all who are in the house. Let your light with luminescent rays so shine to radiate brilliantly before men that they may see your good moral works. And morality only comes from obedience to divine law. That's where that's where good works come from. Yes. Because if you're doing it according to man's law, then it's it's man's righteousness. And that's not we what we do, or at mm -hmm. least that's not what we focus on. Um, and they may see your good moral morally works as an occupation and glorify by rendering honor to your father in heaven. Do not, to the point of denial, think that I came, I Yahshua, came to destroy, loosen, overthrow or disintegrate the law of Moses and the Gospels as a prescription or the prophets. I did not come to destroy, loosen or overthrow or disintegrate it, but to fulfill by making it complete, perfect, fully preaching it to its perfection. If you don't get that one, you're not getting anything mm -hmm. and you're just an outright rebel. Mm -hmm. For surely I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, that is perish, which it has not, mm -hmm. One jot, a small part of the 10th letter of the Hebrew alphabet, or one tittle, the apex of a Hebrew letter, will by no means in any way possible pass or perish from the law of Moses and the gospel as a prescription till all is fulfilled by coming into being or existence. Whoever therefore breaks by dissolving or destroying one or first of the least in size and or dignity of these commandments that is an authoritative prescription and teaches as to learn not to do them by men so you shall be called out loud least mm -hmm. which means far less than least it's not even least it's far far Far, like far away. Mm -hmm. You're so far away, we can't even see you anymore. <laughs> now, that's a pretty degrading statement. Mm -hmm. By those resting currently in the kingdom, the realm of rule of heaven, mm -hmm. but whoever does by executing without delay mm -hmm. 
and teaches to the point of acting on them, he shall be called out loud, great, mighty to the point of fear, in by those resting currently in the kingdom, the realm of rule of heaven. Verse 20, for I say in boasting to you that unless your righteousness justified character exceeds as to superabound in quality and quantity, the righteousness of the scribes, who is a professional writer, and the Pharisees, a religious separatist, you will by no means, by absolute denial, enter the kingdom that rules of heaven. You have heard it was said to those of old, you shall not murder, and whoever murders will be in danger, and in a state of liability and imputed of the judgment, as a decision for tribunal and damnation from the divine law. But I say to you that whoever is angry to provoke enragement and exasperation with his brother without a cause that is beyond measure shall be in danger, and in a state of liability of the judgment, as decision for tribunal and damnation through divine law. So I wanted to read that because it is so emphatically written here. Mm -hmm. If you're teaching against the commandments, you're telling men, oh, you don't need to keep them commandments. Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't want, you're not supposed to be a Jew. You're a Gentile. Mm -hmm. You keep eating your pork. You keep, uh, 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 break in the Sabbath. You go on Sunday and worship on that day mm -hmm. and the pagan days and all that other stuff. This is what it said. Mm -hmm. This is what it said right here. That you are in a, in a decision for tribunal damnation from the divine law of Torah. Mm -hmm. And it's written like that in the book of Revelation also. Mm -hmm. All those who rebel. The Torah is going to judge you. The very thing that these teachers in the Christian church mm -hmm. are trying to bash us on have not been schooled in this, and yet they've made themselves to be experts, and they're not. Yes. Because you don't live this way of life. You have no damn idea what the hell you're even talking about. Mm -hmm. You are not qualified, and you are the gatekeepers to the people in your congregation that's bringing a curse on your people because you don't want them to know about this way. Mm -hmm. So you really don't have their best interest in mind. And I say, shame on you. Mm -hmm. If you want to stay on that side of the fence, stay on that side of the fence. But don't come over here and think that you're qualified to tell me who I'm part of Israel, mm -hmm. what I am and I'm not, mm -hmm. and what I should do and what I should not do. Because mm -hmm. we just went through the scriptures. And mm -hmm. boy, I got more. I got more. You got something you want to say no, on this sir, section? You, you ain't got, you tongue-tied. Uh-uh, it's good. Oh, boy, okay. <laughs> so let's go on.